The music was specifically composed for this piece and was a collaborative effort with P.K. Smith and Maura Lobianco. P.K. Smith is a longtime friend who I asked to make some of the music at the very beginning of the process. I've known him for about 15 years and our history is quite rich. We spent time dancing together and always bonded over various styles of music. Maura Lobianco is a brilliant composer for piano who I was introduced to through Boston Ballet's artistic director, Miko Dissonen. When Miko first mentioned Maura's music to me, I was open to hearing it because there was a particular sound I knew I needed that was different than PK's, but not traditional or classical ballet music. He then played 22 seconds of a piano etude of hers, and I got chills, smiled, and told him that this was the sound that I needed. So we started chatting about music, but also sound in general, and how that relates to movement. I've been working with dance for a long time, um, both as a accompanist, accompanying classes from ballet to modern to contemporary styles, as well as a composer. And we had a beautiful conversation. I was mentioning about Agni, uh, the idea of fire as transformation. And then the other piece instead, it was more, I was envisioning it as more meditative and kind of calming. And he liked the idea so that I started composing. And I see that actually, especially with younger choreographers, they're looking for new ways to express themselves, new vocabulary, new sounds, new ways of expressing musical ideas. And I think it's very exciting. I mean, I think it's something that excites me about Boston Ballet because we are kind of in the forefront, especially with the music department, we are in the forefront of like pushing new boundaries and finding new ways to stay more relevant. You know, this is something that I really love about uh, Miko's vision uh, and the ballet. So you have the tradition, but then you have this exploration of language, uh, giving opportunities to uh, young choreographers to express themselves, inviting in new composers. I think he was trying to achieve an incredible amount of contrast within a short amount of time. So his ballet is in four sections, and each section just sounds widely different from the other, and that's on purpose. He has very interesting, specific ideas. He's extremely articulate about them, which I love, and I can't wait to see how, how it all comes together. Just having that experience uh, as a composer, being there in the audience and enjoying this gorgeous choreography, it, it's going to be one of the greatest moments of my career, for sure.